Herman Miller brand for me represents a high level quality and design. The chair itself is an absolute icon of the Herman Miller brand. When you think of Herman Miller, you think of Eames. The Eames approach to design was one of reducing things to its simple components or parts. And while this chair still has a beautiful aesthetic, the way it functions allows it to transcend time. We've had these chairs for decades. You can see here that the chairs look out onto a wonderful garden space. They're a retreat for our team. Often you can see them reclining, chatting, relaxing. Mental health and wellness is such a critical part of creating healthy workplace environments and the chairs really elevate that wellness experience here at Hassel. The first time I saw an Eames chair in the flesh was at a exhibition at Federation Square in Melbourne and was quite taken aback by it because I had never actually sat in one and I was just like, yeah, this is pretty iconic. The chair is so amazingly comfortable to sit in. It puts you in a portal and takes you to another place. It's just beautiful. It's everything that you would want when you want to relax. I decided to have the Eames chair in our studio because our studio is kind of like a home away from home. It's a space that I'm very proud of. It's a space that I like to celebrate with my clients and this is definitely one of my new favourite pieces that is an exceptional addition to my studio. I've had this Eames chair here for about 10 years. It's been with me in about five homes I've actually lived in and the great thing about the Eames chair is that it does age really well. Even though this chair that I'm sitting on is 10 years old, it still looks like it is as fresh as it was the day it was made. I've always been interested in Charles and Ray Eames because they were architects foremost and they were interested in how things were made. I think what Ray and Charles Eames did was have this beautiful combination of natural and manufactured. It's got this authentic materialism about it that is still poignant just as much today as it was in 1956. And it talks to me about the enduring quality of good design that is actually timeless. The original intent by Charles Eames was modelled on a catcher's mitt, which I think is such a great story because like a catcher's mitt, over time the leather becomes more supple. That actually adds to its value as it ages. I was always quite struck or surprised by the year it was designed in 1956. That comes down to the fact it does have longevity in the way it's been designed. It's clean lines, nothing superfluous. It is a symbol of elegance and timelessness. This chair allows me to shake off my shackles of my day. It allows me to totally relax. It allows me to just go into some sort of portal of another space and that might even be closing my eyes and going to sleep. I have a pretty frenetic life and certainly seek a refuge in my chair. It's this place where I can be myself and in many ways for me this chair talks about being home. The Eames designed the chair to be a special refuge from modern living and I think even though that was back in 1956, it's still relevant today in 2021. Herman Miller is synonymous with design quality, longevity and timelessness. I have a lot of trust in the fact that they will stand the test of time. This chair is a design that is embraced in film, it's embraced in the museum world, it's embraced in so many platforms because it has such strength and presence in all of its elements. It's a chair that encompasses history. It's a chair that also embraces the future. It's just an incredible high quality piece that will last forever.